Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about QuickBooks and how to handle a bank correction or a bank error correction. We're going to look at two examples. One a correction in your favor, which is a credit correction. Another a correction against your favor, which is a debit correction. Example one, we'll look at a deposit for 1500 that for some reason went through is only 150 So the correction is going to be in your favor. The bank has to give you the additional money. Example two, the deposit for 1500 the numbers got transposed, and so it went through as 5100 The correction will be against your favor. Originally, the bank gave you too much money. They're going to take the difference back. Let's see what that looks like in QuickBooks. If I come into Customers and I go to Receive Payments, and we're going to receive a payment for Always Right Incorporated for $1,500, exactly the amount that's due on the invoice. Save and close, banking, make deposits. So in QuickBooks, the assumption is we're going to book the right amount, and we're going to record that deposit. Save and close. So I go into my chart of accounts here, and I have a deposit for $1,500. But as we mentioned in example one, we're going to assume that for some reason the bank originally only, only gave us credit for 150. So the question is how do we deal with this? What do we do in QuickBooks? Well the rule I tell my clients all the time is that you always want to make QuickBooks agree with what happened in the real world. And so, no, that doesn't mean we go change the payment because the reality is the customer paid us and they paid us the full amount. That part, that's the first part of what happened in the real world. The customer really did pay us. So I don't want to go changing the payment amount, but I do need to change the deposit. In other words, we need to be very specific about what needs to be changed here. The payment was right. I don't want to change that, but I, do, I need to change the deposit because the bank on this particular day is never going to show $1,500. they are only going to show $150. So looking very simply at the examples and the way I've laid it out, in this example, the actual deposit was 1500 The credit that we were given for the deposit was only 150 So the bank owes us an additional $1,350. So what I would do here, in order to get QuickBooks to reconcile with the bank, and literally that's what it is, is to get QuickBooks to reconcile with the bank, is we can use a clearing account, which you've seen me do in other videos if you've watched enough of them. We'll set this up as another current asset. Save and close, and I'm going to say minus $1,350. That's going to get my deposit to agree with the bank at 150 while still leaving the customer with the proper credit for having paid their invoice because they did. This is simply money that the bank owes me. So we're reducing it from a deposit, effectively putting it into an asset account called clearing. So the bank owes me $1,350. Now what's going to happen is within a day or two of this, the bank is in fact going to issue that correction. They're going to give me another $1,350. Let's say it happens tomorrow on February 20th. I go to banking. I go to make deposits because that's what the bank is doing and it's coming from the clearing account. I need to zero that out. And I'll get my $1,350. Save and close. So this is what it's going to look like on the bank statement. When I get the bank statement, once the, the statement closes, I'm going to see on the 19th a deposit for $150. And let me fix the date here. On the 20th, or if that's a Sunday, the 21st, I'm going to get the correction for $1,350. This way, everything's in place and lines up perfectly. The customer gets credit for their full payment that they made of $1,500. My bank account in QuickBooks shows the $150 that I was originally given credit for, and then separately the $1,350 that I got when the bank recognized the error and then corrected it. Now let's take a look at the other situation. The other situation is the bank originally gave me credit for uh, the, the transposed numbers, 5100. So let me delete this transaction and we'll come back into here and edit the deposit. The process is the same. It's We're still going to use the clearing account, but this time I got paid too much. So let's take a look at my Excel. This time again the actual deposit was 1500. The credit we were given initially was 5100. So we got an extra $3600. So same thing, clearing account $3,600 gets my deposit total to be the $5,100. Save and close. Yes, now this time the bank has to take money away. So what does that look like in QuickBooks? That's a check. 
and it's going to come out electronically the next day on the 20th $3,600 and the payee you can put in as the bank itself the account of course once again is the clearing account so again we're going to show that we the customer still only gets credit for having paid 1500 because that's all they ever paid I'm going to show the deposit of 5100 which is what the bank will initially show and I'm going to show the correction and of course as I always tell my clients you want to put a detailed memo here so that six months from now when you have no idea what happened you don't have to worry about remembering you put the memo in there to tell yourself in the future what happened the bank issued a correction notice and this was the correction amount they took thirty six hundred dollars back because they gave us too much money and that my friends is how you do the accounting for a deposit correction I hope that clears it up if, if it wasn't clear before if it was maybe a little clear now hopefully it's crystal clear either way if you have any questions at all email me set at nerdenterprises.com I'm always happy to answer them if you need additional training get in touch with me be more than happy to log in with you have you share your screen and coach you through step by step how to do the things that you need to learn how to do in QuickBooks or Excel or anything else you see me cover in any of my blogs or in any of my videos I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web